Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name's Michelle Edhouse and today I have been doing some playing and I thought I'd show you what I've been up to. I've um I got on special um two well they were six for thirty dollars which is super super cheap um and they're the cobalt blue and the deep yellow and the um they're the big bottles so these are 200 mil or 6.78 fluid ounces um <coughs> and the yellow i know doesn't do things quite the way i'd like them to the yellow the blue's okay <coughs> but i thought well i've got the cool i've got them in color so let's see what mixing them creates. So my other favorite color, my favorite color is this um, Renault Art Crimson Red. So there's the deep yellow and the cobalt blue. So what I went, did, it, I went through and I mixed them 50-50, the red and the yellow, 33-66, and 66-33. And I got to see what colours that actually creates. And then I mixed each of those colours with a little bit of white to see what they do as well. So there you go. That's what they do. <laughs> so then I went on and I did the yellow and the blue together. And I got greens, which I'm not hugely fussed on. Um, and But the blue and the red, I adore these purples. These look fantastic. So I'm going to use some purple today. And you'll see those colours being used more um, as I use them up. Because I mixed up basically um, the 50-50 were 20 mils and 20 mils mixed together. So the 66-33 are actually 40 mils and 20 mils. So got quite a bit, two ounces of each of those 66-33s. How does it get any better than that? So what am I doing? I'm going to be doing the two 6633s, one on each end of the spectrums um, of the purple, the blue, the red, and silver as my other colours. And I'm just going to do a flip cup, guys. I like flip cups, and I haven't been doing that many of them lately. And I'm going to put silicon in all of the colours, except for the red. Why not the red? Well, the red is, um, the red's in one of these. Um, oh, actually this one's already got silicon in it, that's why. How does it get any better? So I'm just going to give each of those a little bit of a stir up. As you saw, I only put two drips in each. Um and those are looking good so just a small stir just to get them to come together like that and so let's use our calculation again i haven't done one of these since i've had that calculation so basically it's 12 inches diameter which is six inches um so bear with me a sec. So that works out at 113 millilitres. Divide that by 30 for fluid ounces if you want to. Um, I don't need to add anything in for the edges because there is no edges. So what am I going to do my flip cup out of? Um, now my tins are about 90 to 100 so there's not actually quite enough paint in those um, so let's have a look and see okay so these plastic cups are 275 milliliters they hold so more than enough um, 
275 so if I get it up to this line here that's probably about half because it gets bigger as it goes up um, so 275 divided by 2 is 136-ish, somewhere around there, which 20 mil is too much. Oh, let's give it a go anyway. So as normal, we're starting off with white. I'm not going to put anything over the... Um, over the sticker it's pink and pink will go anyway so um i am going to try and layer this a bit at least get to two colors two layers of each color uh, no I'm not gonna put the red and the white together cuz you know how I feel about that <laughs> I am NOT a fan of red and I'm not a fan of pink I love crimson red But I am not a fan of pink. So let's get that white quite separate. Silver seems to be a lot. Um, Runnier than the others, um, so we will see how this shows up. And last little bit of red. All right, so we've hit that line. We've definitely gone over the hundred and thirteen milliliters of paint. So. Let's cover these back up again. Um, I'm not so bad when it's not when I'm not doing um, what are they call negative space pores. All right, so we put the canvas or the record over top of it, flip it upside down. And let's see what shows up. One, two, three. We've still got layers going on in there. I'm gonna do some torching. you do a really high low warmth ratio like that it just warms it enough and the silicon just gently rises to the top rather than it going Vroom! and it can create some really nice cells Oh, it's quite 
happened there. Now this is quite thick, if you can not tell. It's running really slowly, but I really like doing my paint quite thick. Um, and one reason for that is so many of you say, oh no, I wonder how that's going to dry. Um, I very rarely have paintings that dry much different to what they look like at the end of the pour. And I put that down to the fact that my paint is that little bit thicker. The people that I've watched on YouTube who um, tend to have a quite a dramatic change in their um, in their painting once the once it, as it dries tend to be using their paints quite runny, and that's cool. They get a totally different result straight out of the pot than I get um, but they also get quite a change um, as it dries as well I like that it's blended so beautifully um, and that really is because all the colours except for the silver are inside each other. Um, you know, the two purples I used were made from the blue and the red I used. So it just gives it a real... bringing together a real... Um, blending you don't get the quite the stark contrasts and once this dries this is going to be super cool because this whole area here is covered in silver that's why it looks grey it's very very cool so um I really like it. So let's get you down and show you what we've got. And um, then once it's dry, I will tag, tack, tack that on the end. Okay. So there are some small little cells in here. But not a lot of them. <clears throat> Mostly they're the big ones that came out with the first. And they're not as sharp as some have been in the past. They're quite gentle. I almost want to say there's a kindness to this painting. Um, kindness on the eye gentleness and then there's that little swirly bit just there from <laughs> taking the pot off so that's all silver on there guys that's going to be beautiful when it dries So I really like it. I hope you do. Um, I hope somebody out there likes it so much that they would like it to be on their wall. Um, let me know if that's you and I can pop your name on it. Um, what else is possible? How much fun can you have that you haven't been willing to have so far? 
I'll show you in a couple of days what this looks like. Well, I am very pleased with this one. <clears throat> it has dried beautifully. It does have some pin pricks in it, um, which is unusual. Um, normally I get most of the air bubbles out. So, um, just wondering what I did different. If you noticed something that I did different that may have caused this, please let me know. But it's so beautiful. I think what I'll just do is I'll do cover it in resin and um, those pinpricks won't have any relevance anymore. So how does it get any better than that? I like this one. I like it a lot. Thanks for joining me. How much fun can you have when you're being you, choosing for you, and creating your reality? Have fun. Bye-bye.